right, there's only one thing we can do. to a city she's never been and one of the most magic places I've ever been around Christmas time. We're gonna need uh, lots of big sweaters and warm coats and these as well. I'm not even kidding when I say this, but I think this will be the first time we've ever taken a trip where we weren't worried about breaking down the entire time. be the most dangerous driving condition you could ever conjure up. These roads have just multiple inches of ice and it's pouring out. I, there was a section back there. I could barely stand up on the road. This is wild. No idea where we are. This could be like two feet of snow. It would be so magic and instead it's rain, but can't change the weather. <laughs> what did you just say? That life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, but rather learning to dance in the rain. You want to try dancing on that ice? It's glare. Glare. I really ice. hope we don't have to go downhill again. All right, we're almost to the place we're staying. And again, we're back on another road that is completely glare ice. Here's a downhill. I, can't, I, I don't know what to do. I'm not going down this. There's no traction at all. I can hardly even stand up in my seat. The only prayer is to go super slow and keep one tire on the side. It's glare ice. I don't know if you can see the... Oh my God, this sucks. We have. I'm going to have to put it in the floor. I know. But how long is the hill? What do you think? <laughs> it's pretty heavily sanded, this section. It's still spooky, but I'm just gonna go into super low gear. <laughs> so much wood. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't believe we made it. I know. <sighs> oh, it's a, what a place. <laughs> wow. I love the Christmas tree. This is, I love. So it was raining hard that first day, and we didn't want to try those roads again anytime soon. The dreary, rainy mood was a stark contrast to when I stayed in this cabin the same time of year, 
about six years ago, and the whole landscape was covered in powder, and the snowbanks were 10 feet high. We were out there, on a mountain, over an hour away from the city, wondering if everything I had planned for this trip was out the window. I planned this trip a while back. The idea was to come way up north where I was pretty sure there'd be a better chance of good snow and show Allie a city she'd never seen. And really get into the holiday spirit, go snowmobiling, ice skating, Christmas shopping, just have an ultimate festive trip. And a few days before we went to leave, we saw that it was gonna rain and that the temperature was gonna be 50 degrees. <laughs> We're up in the mountains of the Canadian wilderness. It rained all day yesterday. It's set to rain all day today. I don't know what our chances of snowmobiling are now, though I'm Hopefully. I don't know what our chances of getting out of here are. There's no service here. Yeah, there's also no service up here. I gotta walk up to the road and have a better look. The driveway's got some dirt showing through. It's definitely better than last night. Here's to making the best of it. Now you can see this in the daylight. It's definitely been worn down a bunch and, and the sand is starting to show through. But last night, this was literally just an ice highway. And so we took it easy that first day while we waited for the rain to stop. Cassette one, side A. <laughs> My name is Pierre Valmeret, Pierre. and this is At Home with French. I'll be with you all through your course, and to help me, I have two French people, both from Paris. Hello, I am Paulette Prenet. And my name is Gilles Dattas. L'accordéon. The accordion, music that we'll be hearing more of later. But let's begin. Here are two people on a train. The man is English, the girl is French. Uh, pardon, est-ce que vous comprenez l'anglais? Non, monsieur, je ne comprends pas l'anglais. Je comprends un peu le français. Est-ce que vous êtes anglais? Oui, mademoiselle. In the next few minutes, you will learn not only to understand this conversation, but to take part in it yourself. But first of all, we are going to listen to it again. Pardon, est-ce que vous comprenez l'anglais? Non, monsieur, je ne comprends pas l'anglais. Je comprends un peu le français. I literally already forgot. The girl answers no. Listen and repeat. No. 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 Listen <laughs> again. No, monsieur. No, no monsieur. monsieur is how you address a man. It's a bit like no, sir no. in English, no. but it is nearly as formal. You use it all the time, not just when you want to show respect. Here's the word again. Listen. Woke up this morning and the rain had turned to snow. It was lightly snowing. Absolutely beautiful. Great surprise after all the rain. And I go to fly my drone and do a whole morning sequence. And I left my controller at home. So far this trip is uh, not going as planned. That's all right. You gotta roll with the punches. But at least one thing I've got in my back pocket is a good night's sleep. We drank Beam last night, Beam Dream Powder. It's like a 
nighttime hot chocolate that helps you fall asleep fast and, and stay asleep all through the night. Really good stuff. As you know, I've talked about Bean before, told you how I've struggled with sleep ever since starting my business and whether it's my productivity, my drive, you know, I just feel cranky. Completely game changing to have proper sleep. Four or five months I've been drinking Bean and it's never let me down. Of all the things you can do for your health, good sleep has to be right up there. With the new year coming, it's just a great opportunity to make a major life change, like to invest in your health and actually start getting better sleep. Invest and rest. So they have all different flavors of Dream Powder. The reason that I can genuinely stand behind Dream Powder is that it's jam-packed with the highest quality sleep ingredients that you can get, and it leaves me with zero grogginess the next day. They've actually done a double-blind clinical study, and 93% of participants reported that Dream helped them get better sleep and wake up feeling more refreshed. You can click the link in the video description below or scan the QR code and get up to 40% off. This is a limited time offer. There's no code necessary it's auto applied. So thank you to Beam for sponsoring the story. And now let's go to one of the most festive holiday cities on earth. This is pretty crazy. I can't believe this order of events. So we're on this dirt road. It's like up on the mountain, kinda. When we drove in, obviously, you know, it was treacherous. We just go to leave to go to the city and there's a barricade across the road and a pretty nice guy in a truck. He gets out and he says, that the road was collapsing up ahead. They shut the road down and they're waiting on like the highway department to come figure it out one way or another. So we're officially trapped here at this cabin. No time estimate. <laughs> no time estimate at all. This trip is wild. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Judging on this map, there might be like a way or two to get out of here, but it's kind of a maze and we're guessing. But I feel like it's better off to try this than to just give up right now. We're able to find a route. It's gonna be off-roading for sure. So, we'll see what happens. All right, here we are in the Canadian wilderness. And that's, I guess, the driveway. I don't really know. And then this is the road. This is the only way out of here right now. Doesn't look too bad. If, it's, if it doesn't get any worse, we'll definitely make it. <laughs> Famous last words. I feel like we're snowmobiling right now. Yeah, we are. We get to do snowmobiling. I never thought we were going to <laughs> that's the quad tracks and then there's pickup tracks because otherwise the rain would have smushed it all down you know these are from today <laughs> against all odds we're out the guy the the highway guy made it seem like there was no prayer getting out that way but it really wasn't that bad if you were in a normal car you probably wouldn't have been able to make it and the quebec countryside reminded me of a lot of the roads we drive back home Most of the snow was wiped out, there was still a feeling of magic in the old city.
it was fun seeing Allie's first reaction to all the unique charm. Not long after the world turned blue, it seemed like everywhere cleared out. And so we walked the cobble streets and alleyways in the calmness. And I told Allie about years past when the snow made the city feel like a Christmas dream. <laughs> and we talked about how we'd keep coming back and one year we'll hit the snow right on the nose and we also decided that we'd love to take a fall trip to this region as neither of us had ever seen Canada in the fall That's my favorite part, because that makes it feel really real. Seriously. Like you're looking way down at the bottom of the long driveway, or these, the villages, and there's houses out there, and there's 
There's just no way to duplicate the feeling of being surrounded by history. You can feel the endless stories in all the old stones. like they weren't able to fix the road so now we have to <laughs> try to remember where we even came out of that last we're time. just gonna have to check the map we're gonna have to off-road back in It's cold today. Oh. Isn't it crazy to think that sometimes we go out in weather like this and go into the river? <laughs> yeah. It is crazy. Oh. That's nice. 105 degrees. Oh. <laughs> wow. We were never able to get the wood-fired hot tub at my cabin to stop leaking, which I had been looking forward to for multiple years since I bought it. So I've been savoring every chance I get to have a nice soak. Roll! We gotta be out of this place, but our adventure is not over, actually. Just the way the weather worked out, we kind of saved the best thing for last, so. There goes another one. Apparently the road that we drove over on the first night had a bigger washout than we could imagine as over 20 triaxles drove by delivering Phil on the final morning, and that wasn't the last of them. But luckily the back road worked out for us every time, and we made it back to the city for one last rendezvous to hit the holiday markets. And then it was on to the moment I had been waiting for the whole trip, ice skating through magic forest trails.
This is so cool, all these little posts and stuff. Yeah, let's go that way. <laughs> this is pitch black in front of me. I've never seen a reindeer in real life before. <laughs> Isn't it bizarre? I sent this to you before I even knew we were going to Quebec, and I was like, how crazy would it be to go there? Seriously. Now we're here. Unexpected challenges made the trip more memorable, and we started a few new traditions for the endless years to come.